In this video, we show how to add a new community plugin to SDR Uno and demonstrate a weather fax. So let's have a look now at adding a new plugin. In this case, we're going to add the uh, fax, the, we uh, the weather fax plugin uh, from Yan. And uh, these community plugins uh, may be brand new, in which case you're going to have to add them yourselves or you can follow the process that's in the video if you go to the plugins page on the website so that's strplay.com slash plugins uh, there's a nice video to look at to show how to install a community plugin and then uh, there's news and information about upcoming and available uh, community plugins so uh, for example in march 21 uh, we um, announced the uh, Weatherfax. Uh, this is a free Weatherfax plugin for SDR Uno from Jan van Katvige. And you'll see there's a link. And so you just uh, click on the link. Uh, there's documentation in the PDF file here. It tells you all about uh, Weatherfaxes. There's also a very, very useful link here. This um, weather.gov. Um, website with international frequencies to uh, tune into. So that's documentation and here is the DLL file itself and all we have to do is uh, copy that file and put it into wherever you keep your community plugins which uh, the default would be on your PC in your documents folder under community plugins and you can see here um, all the community plugins I've got on this PC at the moment and here I've already loaded just copied from that uh, from Jan's website the DLL for the weather facts so once you've done that then you're straight into seeing the plugin on SDR Uno so you launch SDR Uno and once you've launched SDR Uno we're going to select from the list of plugins you'll find at the top are all the uh, SDR Play provided plugins in alphabetical order and then underneath all the uh, all the community plugins in alphabetical order so here we are fax load the plugin and up comes the control panel for the uh, weather fax decoder so here's the document uh, from weather.gov slash media slash marine uh, rfax.pdf which has international frequencies Africa, Asia. Uh, I'm based in the UK so I think my best bet for uh, signal to pick up will be under Europe. Scroll down and And here's, uh, here's some signals from Germany and from the UK. So let's go for this 4610 kilohertz frequency and see if we can find anything there. That's um, uh, a daytime one. And there we have the unmistakable sound of a weather fax. Uh, you don't need to do any adjustments for this particular plugin. You just put the published carrier frequency make sure you have the decimation set to 32 sample rate either the default uh, low IF 2 megahertz or if you're in 0 IF make sure this is uh, at 2 megahertz it's all in the documentation from Jan and then on this uh, very simple weatherfax module there's a cheat button the purpose of the cheat button is really that you don't have to wait for the beginning of a transmission. Uh, normally, if it picks up the header, it will initiate the download of the image. But in this case, uh, I've just come along halfway through 
and it's going to just uh, complete the picture for me. So I, I've done nothing here to optimize the signal, the passband, the settings, and I'm sure there's a lot I could do to uh, improve the quality, but I'm getting a pretty good weather map just running this with the default conditions and centering on the published uh, frequency as I say with a 2 megahertz sample rate decimation of 32 as described in Jan's instructions I just typed in the frequency 4610 kilohertz and then I use this very neat cheat feature to allow me to instantly having got a signal uh, assess the quality the quality of the uh, of the map that I can receive so I think that's, that's pretty good. I'm just using um, a wire antenna. It's uh, daytime, late morning, UK. And we're picking up uh, a pretty good map here. So that's just to show what a plugin can do, how it's much easier than having to do virtual audio cables and um, the nice thing about uh, this particular plugin is uh, it's actually free. To find out more about both our plugins and the community plugins, go to sdrplay.com slash plugins. And if you have software and want to bring your own plugins to the community, You'll find information on the plugins page about how you can do that, the tools that are available and where you can come for help and support, which includes a new Facebook group called facebookgroup.com slash group slash SDR Uno plugin developers. Thank you for watching.